Welcome to the ATM Global Solution Tax Providers training session. We're going to walk through what it takes to enter a tax return into the system so that you will automatically get a routing and account number. There, your funds will be put and you'll be able to get a card shipped directly to your customers. You're going to go to login and select virtual point of sale, POS. And then you're going to log in using your agent ID. Your agent ID will be provided to you when you first log in, you define it. Additionals can be defined through the merchant module. Front, once you're in the virtual point of sale screen, you're going to select a load customer card. Then you're going to select instant issue premium card sale. Once you are in this, notice that by default, we have it checked that you wish to have a MasterCard account. All tax agencies must click this in order to get a MasterCard or Visa sent to their customer. If they do not, if they uncheck this box, a MasterCard will not be generated. Also, if you are sent giving member, giving member cards out to your customers, as a method of identifying them within the system, um, do not check car, no card present. If you do not have member cards, check card no card present. If you check no card present, you do not have to enter anything into the customer card number. That is only an internal member card. It is not a third party MasterCard or Visa. This year we are not giving out prepaid um, MasterCard or Visas uh, due to the amount of fraud of cards last year, so you will enter nothing in this box. The third box where it says loading amount, this is not the amount that will be paid by the Internal Revenue Service Treasury Department to the individual. This is a sell or amount that you would normally want to put on the card. For all tax agencies, put in zero. Then agency fee. The agency fee is what you charge your customer for the service. At this time, we are not collecting it. It is for informational only. If you want to put something in there, that's great. If not, put zero. The direct deposit amount is the amount that the IRS is going to put into the cu customer account, at least what the refund amount says they are due. This is not the amount that is going to finally get to the card. This is the amount that is due to them at the time of processing. So any fees that will be taken out after the fact, do not remove that from the total. Just put the total in. This way we can project and try and track the amount of money that should be coming in for each of the different customers. So in this case, we'll put in um, uh, $100 or $110. Now from here, enter all customer information. Do not leave this blank. So we're going to put in as part of the training, we're going to put in, um, uh, oops, do you have to hit the right keys? Um, we're going to put in Steve Test. test. You need to put in a valid mobile number if you wish your customer to be able to get a f phone notification. Um, uh, the system should be sending out text system, text messages to allow the user to be notified when the deposits have hit the account. Uh, email, if w the same thing. Put in a valid email to where you wish to be notified. We look at both ways. If we can do it one way, we will. If we can't, we try the other. And then the physical address. Make sure you hit all boxes that are stars. Use state abbreviations. Uh, do not use a, com a spelled out abbreviation. Then the postal codes. Now, notice over here that in orange we are telling you, you must use a social security number. Select social security number 
and put in the social security number with no dashes. So and don't worry about expiration date there is none then you're going to hit continue you're going to verify the information if you get an error uh, when coming to this screen um, do not re-enter call customer support give them the name of the person you're trying to process and they will help you with the f remainder of the process to get a routing and account number check the agency fee amount the deposit amount do not worry about a fee in this demonstration in the actual merchant account. This should be zero. This should be a zero fee to the merchant for processing this. The other side of it is double check all of the information no matter how it looks. If it's wrong, it will delay the delivery of the services. Then you're going to hit process. And it will come back with the receipt. Within this receipt, the last four digits of the card, not the MasterCard, the internal card, will be as shown in the card number. You can use it as a reference. It can be looked up and verified through customer service. The two most important fields on this that you will key into your software, and please take your time to enter this information. We want to get it right the third time. Any miss in this information will be a delay in the delivery of funds to your customer. And there is nothing that we can do to speed that up. So. Let's do it right the first time and make sure our customers are as happy as can be by getting it to them as quickly as possible. Give the routing number and the account number in any of the tax softwares you use. The, the funds will be put directly to the account. Make sure that the first thing that you do once you get this receipt is to print it. Either do a screen capture by using a control P or go in and print it out so you have a copy on file. If you miss this, then you're going to have to call customer service. Do not go back in and re-enter. Call customer service and they can look it up online and give you that information. The other part of this in order to co fulfill compliance needs, you need to go up and select proof of identity. Now, this will either take you into another screen or it will just change screens. If it changes screens and you did not print your receipt, please go to the back button and see the receipt and print the receipt. As long as you don't close that window, then you should be able to see that information. Proof of identity, any valid government photo ID um, we will take. Um, driver's license, um, the consular card, passport, um, we will take all of those IDs. Um, it is required for you to give us some form of ID. If there are any issues around the ID, we're going to come back and we're going to ask you for a utility bill, a bank statement, um, something that says this person lives at this address um, because compliance is for, first and foremost on our minds as we're going through this. So at this point, you're going to say browse. You're going to select an image. If you cannot read the image clearly, neither can we. Please send images that are clear and easy to read so that we don't call you to say, I need a better image. Any delays will be reflected in what happens in the process. So make sure your image is as clear as possible when uploading to the system. The next step is to hit upload. As you can see, it has the document, it's ready to go, um, and it has been loaded, but you must hit continue to complete the process. And then once you hit continue, your process is complete, you are brought back around to the screen you started in. Thank you for watching this video. Please take your time, enter customer information correctly. If you have an error, contact customer service. Do not continue to re-enter. It will create duplicate accounts. Um, if you have any questions about any process, please refer back to this video or call customer service. They will be happy to help you with any questions that you may have. Thank you and have a wonderful day.